If you're a business owner and you're confused about the monthly subscriptions, well, the calculator is going to help you. I built a customized calculator and the link is in the description and this video explains guest versus member. And lastly, we go through how to add a guest in your workspace. So to make it easier to decide how many users you need and what type of account you need and how many members you need to pay for, I created a simple, very easy calculator which only needs you to actually put in three amounts. So the first amount, as I explained earlier, is how many staff, how many team members do you have internally in your organization, business or nonprofit? How many people work internally? So one example I'm gonna give you is, let's say you have 100 people, perfect. So we have 100 people internally that works in the organization across maybe four branches. And then externally, if you're an NGO, you need to report to trustees. You maybe want to have some interaction. They maybe want to have like a checklist or you know some form of chat box, something you want to collaborate with. So let's just say there's 15 members on that board. Okay, and then you've got some supplies you'd like to share some information to. So we have, let's say we got 20. All right, we've already deduced that those 20 people that we need, I guess we will be sufficient because you're not gonna let a person from outside adjust your ClickUp setup. I mean, that's obvious. So then we gotta ask ourselves the second question. So now we've got the amount of people that we need in total. The second question you gotta ask yourself is, of the internal team members, how many of them are managers and need to actually have rights to change structure, change views, change settings, maybe add click apps, which we'll explain later on in the next videos that I'll be doing, but those type of settings. So four branches, let's just say there's five team leaders. So we're looking at about five times four branches. So we're looking at 20. Now that we have 20 paid members, what happens then is the calculator already calculates the number of guests that you will get with that membership. So with the unlimited plan, you will get two guest seats for every paid member. And with the business plan, you will get five. So it's a very simple calculation that built in there and it gives you the amount of users you need. So if you take the business plan out, 400 users, I mean, that's 100 internal staff and 20 external, that's 120 users in total. You will have sufficient if you only pay for 20 users. I can really take this a step further if I want to and be the, <laughs> and do some accounting with you if you want and work out the effective price you're actually paying for the service. So if you take the $180 that you're paying on a business plan and divided by the 120. I mean, you're only paying, I mean, that's, you're only paying $1.5 per month per user. I mean, that's, I mean, I think that's, I think that's is really cost effective. That's value for your money. I mean, $1.5, $1.5 per user in your workspace if you take out this deal. Let's take it another step. And let's just say you have a bit smaller business, you've got maybe three branches and you have a training school or a training center and you're doing education and you want to share with information with your students. So they don't need to really interact with the ClickUp, but they just have to view the reports and just view a few statuses or where they act, but they're not going to interact with the system. So let's just say you've got three branches and internal staff, you've got about 15. So we've got 15 plus, so you've got 25 internal staff. Externally, you're going to share progress reports and with outside examiners, let's just say there's 10. So you've got 35 in total. Now, the, maybe you have 35 main members, but after watching my video and after seeing that, you know, sometimes you could maybe change some of those users to guests, you decide that you've only actually got like six core staff 
in the business that actually manage the processes and need to change the settings in ClickUp, so you order six seats. Ordering those six seats, look at the pricing you're paying. You're paying $1.5 for every member effectively. And I think that's really cost effective and that's really good value. And I hope ClickUp, at the time of doing this video, continues giving that free seats as a guest. And yeah, good. Download, please download this template. Um, I left the link at the bottom. It's very simple. You will see there's a quick form. Um, and once filling in the form, there's a link. And this link will open up and it allows you to download and edit this file as you see fit. Now, if you like the way I did the form with the link, um, I purposely did it like that because I really want you to see the flow of what you can do in ClickUp. So I promise I won't be spamming you, I won't be sending you emails, but I just wanted to see the value and the way you can build a form, get a link, and then share some information or share PDF, or maybe you have your own type of material you like to share on the internet, and that's one way of doing it. I'll be making a full video of how I did this process, so please do look out for that. In a nutshell, all I did was I created a list with a form, and then this direct link, which I've copied, I've placed it into the YouTube channel, and once that link is used, so I'm gonna put this link inside here, and I'm gonna use this link over here, and I'm gonna, come, I'm just gonna paste this link. So when I paste this link, and I, company name, which is test, and I'll put the tester name at test.com. I don't have to put the index, it's not required, I don't have to put the time zone, I just put submit. That's it. Once that thing submits, you then get a download link. That download link will then appear as a ClickUp task, and then that's it, I can download. So that's you downloading it, once it's yours, it's on your computer, and you can open it and adjust it. So obviously I've got mine already open, and please note, only adjust the yellow parts, the arrows on and the rest will do its calculation itself. Perfect, I hope that helps, and I hope that helps you calculating the total cost that you can save on your ClickUp subscription. So let's talk guest first member. I get this question quite often, and I believe this is quite the starting point of starting your ClickUp journey because it will affect, first of all, how your team relates and works within ClickUp, and secondly, it also determines what you can be paying to ClickUp on a monthly basis for your subscription. Now, we've all seen this screen, um, this page regarding the difference between guest, member, and admin. I'm not gonna go too much in detail on this because I believe the PDF and the explanations gives a good guidance of what's available and what isn't. But what newbies or those starting up on ClickUp are confused about is what exactly is these features and will it work for a staff member? You're adding a team member and you're not sure if they can be added as a guest. If this sounds like you, then this video is for you. The best way to explain the difference between a member and a guest to understand how and the types of roles those in your organizations play. When it comes to project management and ClickUp, that might be something new to you because you might be coming from an Excel background. Now coming from an Excel background, everyone's got the same user rights. And one of the biggest reasons you might be moving away from Excel is you want either more control or you want some privacy settings. And that's how users are gonna be defined between guests and main, main members. Now the best illustration I can give is thinking of a accounting scenario, an accounting department, because that's something we can all relate to. And that it would be like, let's say you're the head of accounting. 
So you're the head of accounting. You had, you can see that you'll be basically building the processes and you'll be monitoring those processes. Underneath your accounting department, you will then have a type of senior accountant who would also oversee the different staff members in the team. But below that, you will get those who capture the data. So you'll get like a creditors clerk or you'll have a debtors clerk and you might have an inventory clerk. What the responsibility is to be able to capture the information and make sure that it's sound in the different departments. Once that happens, you'll get the manager or the senior accountant who will then monitor those items and see that everything's reconciled. So they will need types of things like reports. Um, they will have to have things like different types of views. And then you've got the main accounting manager. And they're the ones who actually design the system to ensure that everyone is able to work on it. Now using the same concept, this can help you decide on how you can use members versus guests. Now one simple example is you've got to define what members in your team are going to be using ClickUp for what purpose. And the best way to answer that is are they going to be using ClickUp to set your ClickUp up in terms of changing views, changing lists, adding spaces, creating ways of workflows. If this sounds like the team member in your team, they will be needing the member access. So member or admin, that's basically what I would suggest. And they come at a full price. The second option you have is you've got other members. And these type of members are ones that are more transactional based. They're capturing data, they're adding fields into the custom fields, they're adding information to those custom fields, they're adding comments, and they don't necessarily need to change your whole ClickUp system. And because they don't need to change it, they can be guests. Now you're wondering, why do they name it guests? And I think the name is a little bit confusing for those who use ClickUp because a guest sound almost like someone that's outside your organization, like a supplier or a client or some other stakeholder. Now, yes, you can add those as guests, but based on the user rights and based that they can add a task, they can comment on a task, they can even shift the status within a task. They can like, tick a checkbox if you have a checkbox as a custom field. They can select a drop down. So they can basically comment and interact in your ClickUp space. And these rights are sufficient for some team members on your internal workspace. So saying that, it means that yes, you can add someone in your organization as a guest. And by doing so, you'll be saving on your monthly subscription fee. Now I built a calculator, which I will be going through at the end of this video, and you're welcome to download the calculator in the link below. And this calculator asks two questions. As the owner of your workspace, and you're trying to budget for how much ClickUp is gonna cost you per month, you gotta ask yourself one of two basic questions. You gotta first determine how many members are on your team so full list of members total members you got to have that in mind like you know you've got a data clerk you know you've got someone in management you know you've got someone who's going to be monitoring the project management you've got a receptionist and then you've got that number internally the second question you got to ask yourself is how many members or people do you need to interact in this workspace that does not work in your organization so that's the second question. So these can be clients, they can be suppliers, they can be third party stakeholders. If you're in the NGO space, you might have a board of directors that want to view information. So that's the other question you gotta ask. But normally what I've seen is people that you're sending or sharing information with outside your organization, they might only need access to view meaning they're not going to really interact in your workspace. 
if this is the case that means you don't have to actually add those members in your calculation because ClickUp provides sharing information which does not need interaction free so all guests that you add in your workspace that only have to view information will always be free and that won't affect your subscription or the number of seats you have so now that you've got those two answers that gives you a broad idea of how many seats you actually need in your workspace so now comes the other question how many paid members do you need to enable those seats and this is the more tricky question because now you gotta ask yourself I know ClickUp made it a little bit complicated but think about it they're actually saving you money at the end because it's easy for ClickUp like other types of project management software out there or accounting software out there we are used to paying for a seat as a member regardless of the type of permissions they have. So if you're a debtors clerk and you're only capturing items in the debtors part, or if you are in accounts payable and you're only capturing bills, you'd be paying a subscription for that member. But what ClickUp has done, and they've done this very well, is they've actually made members that are basically data captures and just capturing information, they're basically giving you a free seat. And depending on the plan you're on, these seats differ. So if you're on the pay plan with business, you will be getting five additional guests for every member you have in your workspace. And if you're on the unlimited plan, they give you, I think, two or three seats for every paid member. Now, Knowing this, you can now understand how you can actually calculate your monthly costs on ClickUp. And you can plan yourself around how you're going to be using your workspace. Now, I built a simple calculation to do this. In order to understand, and the starting point of this calculation is to ask yourself how much members you have in total. So that In this case, I would like to add a guest to this folder. So the way I'll do that is I'll click on these three dots. Um, for the technical guys out there, it's called the ellipse. So on that ellipse icon, I'll add a guest by saying sharing and permissions. And now by going sharing and permissions, can you see this plus with the person? It says I can invite this person. So I'll click on here and I'll invite this person that I want to add as a guest by typing the email. So I'm going to type the email. This person will be getting a e invite to my workspace. So I can either allow this guest to have full access to this folder, or they can either only edit this tasks in the folder, or they can either only comment, or they can view. Can you see? Viewing is free. So I'm going to give this guest full access. Now, giving them full access, I'm inviting them. What will happen after that is, the person that I've sent this email to, they will then have to either have to do one of two things. The first one is, they might have to create their own ClickUp account if they do not have one. Or the second one is, if they already have a ClickUp account, they will get an email and the email will request them to or, or prompt them to come into the workspace so they don't have they already have one clickup account that's fine just prompt them to accept the workspace and once they accept the workspace you will get a notification to say that they are now in your workspace and remember with the vetted consultant you can build with confidence <laughs>